All right, let's take a look at these three examples here for measuring distances. The first example asks what the distance marked on the ruler below is, and notes that the ruler is marked in centimeters, so we're using a metric ruler here. Um, this is really pretty simple. Just remember your ruler postulate. A uh, ruler postulate says that if you measure between any two points on a ruler and you want to find the distance, you just need to find the difference between the two marks on the ruler. So we're looking for the absolute value of the difference between 3 and 8. And I say the absolute value because what we really just want is how far it is. We don't want to specifically know how to get from one point to the other. If we wanted to know how to get from 8 to 3, then we could leave it as a negative if it came out that way. But in this case, we just want to know what the length of this line up here is. And obviously, it's not going to be a negative length. So if we take 3 minus 8, that gives us the absolute value of negative 5 which is just 5, and since our ruler is marked in centimeters, then our answer is 5 centimeters. So this little black line right here is 5 centimeters long, and the distance between our two ticks is that 5 centimeters. All right, and then for example B, it says make a sketch of line OP where Q is between O and P. So all we need to do is start by sketching a line, so we have a line, and then we mark two points, one on each end, so now it's an actual line segment. We have O here and P here. And I suppose technically if it's supposed to be line OP, we should probably continue on past those because if it's supposed to be a line, it should go on in both directions. Even though a, a line segment would probably work for our, the main point, technically this should be a line. And then it says to mark Q between O and P, so we just need to find any place between those two, mark another point, and label it Q. And that's all there is to that one. And then finally for example C, example C says what is the distance between the two points shown below? And it doesn't ask us for inches or centimeters or anything else, it just wants to know a specific distance. So we're going to assume that the unit of measurement they're asking for is the unit of measurement on our xy graph, so basically just in tick marks. So if we start at this point here, this one starts at 2, 3, so it's 2 over on the x-axis, and then 3 up on the y-axis, and it ends at 2 over and 9 up. So there's no change left to right, there's only a change from top to bottom. So what we're really doing there is going from 3 to 9. So now that means we need to find the absolute value of the difference between 3 and 9, just like we did on the first example. 3 minus 9 is negative 6, so now we're finding the absolute value of negative 6, which of course is just 6. And since there aren't any units marked, we don't have to put any units in our answer, so our answer is just 6. Or if you like, you could say 6 units. There you go.